both of you to a frightfully good time. Today we're heading into San Francisco. We're going to be enjoying some foods at Cochina Cucamonga and some new foods at the Lucky Fortune Cookery. So come join us as we enjoy some good foods and good time. Here is the Karage inspired crispy chicken sandwich at Lucky Fortune. Look at it. Let's look at the inside. Let's dissect it. Oh, okay. Good coleslaw. Look at that. Can you say mm. buddy burrito, please? Look at all that. Garlic Thank chips to come with it, too. Let's see the crunch factor. Delicious. No. As we, as we go over to Jacob, we see his beef bulgogi burrito. Ooh. What's, it, what's on the inside of that, Jacob? Beef. <laughs> uh-huh, what's that? White stuff. Rice. Rice. There we go. And then there's also a little vegetable. How was your burrito? I ate it all. How was it, though? Um, it was okay. It was okay? Yeah, I, mean, I was starving, so it could have been like a bean and cheese burrito and I would have been, it was okay. <laughs> I guess it needed something. It needed more spice. Needed like a sauce. Yeah. It needed to be saucy. Maybe like bulgogi um, sauce. How was your food? It was good. It was good. The chips were really good. I don't know what. What did you have? Oh, good. Here, let me let me. Here oh, he's taking the camera. What's up, Pasco family? Stop! I'm not in this. What's up, Pasco family? Today we're gonna be rating our food. Okay. So what I had on this plate right here, what was there before, was the. Karage inspired crispy chicken sandwich. Now, no one else had it, so no one else can have their own opinion on it. I would rate it an eight and a half out of 10. 
<laughs> if we go on to Jacob, Jacob, what would you rate the Karage inspired crispy chicken sandwich? I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> no, what would you rate it? Actually, what would you rate it? Rate what? I rate it an eight and a half. I didn't have it. Ryan here had the beef birria ramen. That's what it was before. <laughs> We're the monster eater. <laughs> rate it. One through ten. Eight. Eight. That's bold. That's bold. The karage chicken is still better though. Now, Jacob, back to you. Jacob, <laughs> what would you rate the beef bulgogi burrito? A seven. A seven. No, a six and a half. Okay, so let me let me put my input actually. So basically, with the beef birria ramen, eight is way too generous. I would give it like a six. I'm gonna be honest. The beef birria ramen. It was not so good. Well, it was good, but it wasn't like outstanding. And the beef bulgogi burrito kind of sucked, so I'll give that a five. Okay, rate your food. My food was about a seven and a half. A seven and a half, and it was the beef broth. This is where the tacos were. This is the after. Now, I would rate the tacos. They were pretty spicy, I would say. So, they were, they they were, were really they were. spicy. <laughs> they were spicy. I would give them... Like a seven, like they were decent. Gilote. This is the after. Let's give it a little twirl right here. Let's do that. So with the with the elote, I give it a seven and a half. The seasoning on it was really good. What was your what was your opinion on it? It's all right. Just give it a number. Give it a number. Damn it. Okay. Out of fifty-two, I give it thirty-seven. Two. Out of fifty-two, he gives it a thirty-seven. Elotes. Rate the tacos and the elote. Both at eight. Eight is extremely generous. That man has been living for 52 years, and those are eights. Eight out of tens for me. How was your overall dining experience? Okay, so okay, so okay. Now let me let me let me break it down for you. So look at the atmosphere. Look at it. Back to me. Okay. So I would rate the overall atmosphere. It was a struggle to find seats. I'm gonna be honest. So, so basically, it's kind of hard to find seats. It's like super packed at the, at the wharf. It's like really packed, but... So I give the atmosphere, I give the atmosphere like... It's Disneyland, so I give it like a 5 out of like... Actually, I give it a 50 out of 50, I'd say. And then, uh... Dining experience with the people I'm sitting with. They're kind of obnoxious, I would say. Like the guy holding the camera. Uh, I want you to rate each person. <laughs> rate each person. Uh, based on levels of tolerance. So, Ryan... Uh, so 10 is like the least tolerant and one is like really like okay, whatever. She's like 15. I would say <laughs> she's 15 uh, Oh, thanks. Jacob right here. Turn it over Don't worry about that uh, So Jacob right here is probably like a hundred uh, the other two are irrelevant. How about this? Oh, oh. 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 Look at it. Oh. Ah. Okay, we're focused on me now. Right. Don't worry about that. So basically, <laughs> <laughs> basically, uh, the, the food overall, I would give it probably like an eight and a half out of ten. <laughs> it tastes good, I would say. Uh, it definitely got me filled. <laughs> Losers! Losers! There's a princess! Princess Barbie! <laughs> oh dear! Tired! How can you be tired? I'm so tired! Tired of what? You've been laying down on the couch all day! Look at this big turd. This is the Chaco. Yeah, so Chaco thing right from here. Pim. Look, she even wrote on there, have a great night. Enjoy. From Pamela at Pim. Aww, isn't that cute? Heck, banana tea.
my consent. I said. But I would rate it. Excuse you. Ooh. <laughs> don't worry about that bad boy. Now that I didn't try it, dude. You don't. <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> too close. You're getting too close. You're getting too close. I'm not getting close at all. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> uh, I would rate him. <laughs> now he just bro, he, he's like in a thousand now. How about her? I just said, alright. <laughs> <laughs> Is this in the Haskell fam? Kid show, man.